Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, Bossy. Hey. Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's farm. I'm Uncle Tim. And here we are. These piglets are four days old. I just wanted to check in on them. See how they're doing. Hey, Bossy. It's a nice warm day. It's in the upper 60s, low 70s. And these little guys are doing good today. They're running around following Bossy everywhere this morning. Come over to the feed barrels over there. The other pigs were checking them out. <clears throat> oh yeah, they're, boy, they're nice and fat. Big bellies there, getting plenty of milk from Bossy. Hey, little guys, <clears throat> yeah, they're healthy pigs for sure. Even this little one here, <clears throat> curious little boogers. It's good that Bossy's a nice, gentle mama and friendly. These guys are all friendly, getting used to my voice and. Stuff I want them to be used to me coming around. So they're not scared of me. So far, this farrowing, free range farrowing, has been a pretty smooth process, no issues. I had one commenter before she farrowed, look out, little pigs. Before she farrowed, I had somebody make a comment that she's going to have to defend those babies because the other pigs will come and eat them. And so I asked the person, I said, well, is that really, is that really going to happen if you had experience with that? And they didn't respond. So I don't know if they, if that person has had that experience or not. And I'm sure it's probably happened to, in certain instances, but in this case, Bossy was laying right in this exact spot. Actually, she wasn't. She was in this spot, having the pigs. And the other two pigs were laying right where she is now, 10 feet away, and they could not have cared less about these little pigs being born and coming around. And they didn't bother them. They didn't come over, check on them, anything. They just wanted to sleep. Little boogers already rooted. <laughs> Boy, going to town there. That's amazing how hard their little noses are. Little guy, he's getting after it. Anyhow, so those other pigs didn't bother Bossy or these piglets at all. And I, I'm sure Bossy definitely would have defended them, but she didn't need to. There was no. No need. The other pigs didn't care one bit, and I'm sure it's going to be the same for them when they farrow here in several days from now. I'm sure there won't be any issues with Bossy trying to come bother them and their piglets. But I guess we'll find out. Anyhow, like I said, this has just been a pretty easy process, and one thing I wanted to mention this if this is going to be your first time farrowing pigs that pigs are not like a lot of other mammals when they have their babies like cows or sheep or animals like that that I, I'm used to when a cow has a calf right away she gets up and starts cleaning that calf off licking on it and getting it all stimulated and ready to go but pigs are not like that these little piglets are kind of on their own well, yeah, they pretty much are on their own. The mama's too busy having other babies. She doesn't have time to clean them up or mess with them. She just lays there on her side, has a baby, and then it's up to that baby to crawl around, get to the right spot, and find the milk, and get themselves kind of cleaned up as they're crawling around. And I guess... Oh, wait, that car goes by. I guess we as humans kind of... It seems like such an amazing thing, and it, it is an amazing thing, but it's I guess we forget that that's how God designed them. I mean, God put that into them when he created them, and it's just the natural instinct, the way that he made them. 
and we, I guess we kind of forget and think things happen by accident, but they don't. That's how God made them, and he knew what he was doing when he created them. And he's, and they're getting all comfortable and soaking up the sun and going to sleep. Anyhow, he knew what he was doing when he created them, and that's how come they're able to survive. So it's it's pretty fun to watch. It's pretty amazing to watch that whole process. But that's one thing just to keep in mind is that pigs aren't like other a lot of other mammals that get up and clean their babies off. Those it's little pigs are on their own. And a lot of times what happens is people take pigs out of their natural element and don't let them do things the way that they were created to do. And so then the genetics kind of get messed up because the ones that are bad mamas, you may not know it because they're not in a natural environment where they're able to show that they're not a good mama and can take care of their babies. And so those genetics get passed on and on and on. So in my mind, it's much better that they're able to do things in their natural environment. And that way, you know, if she, if that pig's not a good mama and can't have her babies and raise them on her own, then she doesn't need to be a mama anymore. You need to only keep the ones that know what they're doing and are able to take care of them. Like the way that God designed Look at that little pig falling asleep standing up. That little pink one there. <laughs> That's funny. He better lay down before he falls down. <laughs> and it's amazing how gentle a big old mama pig can be. Cleaning those babies very gently. Anyhow, those are just a few of the things I wanted to talk about today. Just kind of give you a heads up of this is your first time raising, or if you're new to raising pigs, some things to kind of keep in mind and pay attention to. All right, well, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye. Bye.